Today I have another controller review for you, the nice people over at Easy SMX sent me their new X15 controller to take a look at. And at a current price as of the making of this video on their official store of £33, what makes the X15 different? Well, it's got RGB. So the X15's design goes back to more of a classic Xbox design that we all know and love, and is made with similar high quality plastics as the X10 that I previously reviewed. The X15 also has Hall Effect sticks and triggers, a 3 level vibration setting as well as turbo settings, of course customizable RGB, but sadly this time no motion control support for the Nintendo Switch. The X15 comes in two flavours, the one I have is called Starfield and there is also the darker Mecha, and weighs a surprisingly low 228 grams compared to the X10 weighing in at 355 grams. Of course, being a wireless controller, it uses a 1000 mAh battery with a 15 to 21 hour use time, but can also be used plugged in via USB-C. The X15 comes with two extra back buttons for programmability. During my testing using the program button, I never ran into any issues, and while playing Helldivers 2, I was able to reprogram the stratagems button upon the left shoulder by pressing the program back button once, then pressing one of the two back buttons I want to reprogram to, then pressing the button I want to remap, and then finally pressing the back remappable button one more time to finish off the process. As their website advertises, Pro Gamers Programmability. Tailor your gaming setup with programmability designed for pro gamers. The controller features two additional programmable buttons on the back, allowing you to customize trigger combos or any other features to enhance your gaming convenience. And as for what Hall Effect is, Hall Effect is a non-contact magnetic sensor. There is no physical damage to the joystick and triggers with a more cost-effective price and can extend the life of the controller by two to four times. The A, B, X and Y face buttons themselves are all laser cut with a nice design and deep enough to offer longevity, so it should take you a very long time and many many games before you start to feel any wear and tear on these face button etchings, all while still feeling pretty smooth to your fingertips. As for the RGB on the X15, it does look really nice. I've never used a controller with RGB, so I can't do a direct comparison with another RGB controller. However, I do have other RGB peripherals on my desk, and as you can see from the footage, the X15's RGB is bright and colourful, as well as being customizable by holding the minus button and using the D-pad up and down and left and right, which I found to be a really nice addition to this controller. And talking about the D-pad, this time around it's more of a rounded style, similar to the newer Xbox Series controller format. Personally, I prefer this style as it's better in certain games to roll your thumb. In my opinion, they've done a really good job with the D-pad this time around. As for connectivity, the X15 connects via Bluetooth to the Switch and comes with a dongle for PC connectivity, but can also be used via the supplied USB cable for wired gameplay. So for all of the devices that the X15 works on, these are the Nintendo Switch, PC, Android and iOS. I've used the X15 for a week or two now, and the more I used it, the more I found myself enjoying its lighter weight while still feeling premium. I must say though, I still do prefer their X10 controller, but I am a sucker for micro switches. But the X15 does have RGB, and you know what they say about RGB. It's supposed to make you a better gamer or something. It does look nice though. With all that said, I am going to repeat myself again though, and I hope Easy SMX makes some controllers with this design and price point for the Xbox and PS5. I really like what they're doing, and many people might appreciate these controllers for the price on other systems, but at least for now, I can still use it on my PC. So to summarize, the X15 is another great controller from Easy SMX. While it's still missing some nice things from the X10 like the micro switches, it does make up for it in other areas. Easy SMX make a lot of controller and peripheral options, so I'll leave all links to them in the description below, as well as my previous reviews for their controllers, as it is well worth a look if you're in need of a replacement controller. Let me know your thoughts on the Easy SMX X15 in the comments section below. Are you looking for a reasonably priced alternative to the Switch Pro controller, or just want a nice controller for casual PC gaming? All links can be found in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish to continue seeing the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time.